Welcome. In today's video, I will cover HNT distribution and how you can increase your rewards even if more hotspots join the network. I will leave all the relevant links in the description below. With more than 250,000 hotspots bound to join the network in the next few months, more HNT will be distributed amongst all live hotspots, which can cause miners to earn less HNT. Many might see this as a setback to earning rewards. However, it is important to note Hotspots are not distributed the same amount of HNT. They are distributed for their efforts to provide better coverage to the network. So when you deploy your miner, and if you are struggling to gain high rewards, then you need to reevaluate your miner setup. You can do this by taking a few strategic steps. Number one, placing your miner in a better position within your home. For one of my setups, I switched the location of the miner from my living room and placed it in the attic. This created a connection with two extra witnesses, which increased my rewards by approximately 1 HNT per day. I know it is a small amount, however the simplest of changes can make a difference to your rewards. Number 2. Testing out different DBI antennas and elevation. Different DBI antennas work well in different environments. I had set up one of my Bobcat miners in the suburbs, which only reached two hotspots. After the first two weeks of running the miner, I decided to upgrade the antenna and place it on a 25 foot pole. And now the miner is connecting to more than 15 hotspots. Ignore the big long green bar, as that day the miner was part of a consensus group. As you can see from the Helium app, my miner really struggled to gain any rewards in the first two weeks. And now it is approximately making 5 times more HNT in comparison to my initial setup. Number 3. Reassert location. Another option would be to reassert the miner to another location. I had one miner which I had set up in the city, and it initially struggled to gain high rewards as it was located at a lower level within a tower block. I decided to change the location from my apartment to my friend's apartment, which was located at a higher level within the same building. I ran discovery mode, which allows you to test a new miner location without having to confirm the placement on the helium coverage map. Discovery mode gives you a good indication of miners you can potentially connect to. If you wish not to use discovery mode, changing the location is free the first time. Then there is a cost of approximately $10 every time you wish to switch your miner's position on the map. By placing the miner in a different location, I improved my antenna line of sight and I was able to witness and challenge more hotspots, which increased my rewards. Number 4. Understanding your environment. You cannot fully calculate what your rewards are until you have physically placed your miner and then sync it to the Helium network. So you will need to best determine how much you can potentially earn by researching, learning more about the network, understanding antennas, and using tools such as Helium.Vision and 3D Maps to plan and evaluate your setup. As the network runs on proof of coverage, everything is visible to you. So you can analyze hotspots close to your area and better understand why different hotspots are receiving different rewards. By playing about with these variables, you'll be able to better your chances to gain a bigger piece of the HNT distribution. The better the coverage you provide, the more HNT you can earn. If you do not test out your miner setup, you are potentially losing the opportunity to gain better rewards. HNT distribution is cut by half every two years. And in the next few days, I'll be releasing episode 2, which will cover the controversial topic of halving and why you should not be too worried about it. So please do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. If you have any questions regarding HNT distribution, please do leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you found this video informative, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.